So 2.1.1 says uh, determine T and uh, the nth term of the quadratic sequence. Uh, the quadratic sequence is given as um, 72, uh, 100, and then 120, and then we have 132. Uh, we know from uh, the properties of a quadratic sequence uh, that 2a is equal to um, the first term of uh, the second difference and then 3a plus b equals to the first term of the first difference and then a plus b plus c is equal to um, the first term of um, the sequence and then the general formula for a quadratic sequence is tn equals to an squared plus bn plus c so if we can find a way to determine a b c then we know what uh, tn is right so we have already said that we have 72, 100, uh, 120, and 132. Um, if you subtract 72 from 100, uh, you get 28. Um, 100 from 120, uh, you get 20. And then 120 from 132, you get uh, 12. Uh, the difference between, if you uh, subtract 28 from 20, you get minus 8. Uh, the same is true for 12 and 20, you get minus 8. So here, yeah, uh, it's easy to see that 2a is equal to minus 8, our second difference, right? So from this, uh, we can say, we can determine a, of which we'll get uh, minus 4, right? So there we have it. Um, we have uh, completed the first step of 3, and then now we know that uh, 3a plus b is equal to uh, the first term of the first difference. So 3a plus b <coughs> equals to um, 28. We know that a is minus 4, um, then plus b is equals to 28. So this is b uh, equals to 28 plus 12. So b is equals to 40, right? And then now we've completed step 2 of 3. We are one step closer to determining Tn. So the other uh, property is that A uh, plus B plus C is equal to the first term of which is uh, 72. We have determined A to be minus 4 and we have determined B to be 40 plus C is equal to 72. So we're going to get um, C is equal to 72 plus 4 minus 40 and then this is going to give us 72 plus 4 that will be 76 minus 40 that will give us 36 so now our tn which is equals to a n squared plus b n plus c uh, therefore becomes um, a is minus 4 so minus 4 n squared uh, b is 40 so plus 40n and then plus 36 so there we have it we have determined our tn so let's move ahead 2.2 is saying determine the quadratic sequence 72 100 and then yeah so on is equal uh, to the 12th term of the sequence of first differences so the first difference is we already established that is 28, uh, 12, uh, 20, and then uh, 12, right? And then determine the position of this term in the quadratic sequence. So what's the 12th uh, term of uh, this sequence? So to determine Tn of an arithmetic sequence, we have... Um, Tn equals to a uh, plus uh, minus n minus 1 uh, multiplied by d. 
so we want the 12th term right so this is going to be a is 28 uh, plus um, n is 12 uh, minus 1 uh, multiplied by the difference uh, the difference is um, minus 8 right so uh, let me put them in my calculator real quick just to save time so we're gonna have 28 uh, plus uh, 12 minus 1 uh, multiplied by the difference uh, the 12th term is minus uh, 60 right so now we're supposed to determine the position of this term in the quadratic sequence so we're going to have um, uh, minus 60 equals to uh, the formula for the quadratic sequence is uh, minus 4 n squared plus uh, 40 n uh, plus 36 so from here on uh, we just are solving for n uh, which is the position of the term in the quadratic sequence so we're going to get um, minus uh, 4 n squared uh, plus 40 n Uh, plus 40n uh, plus um, 36 plus 60 that is 96 uh, which is equals to 0 so if we take 4 as a common factor we get uh, minus n squared uh, plus 10n uh, plus 24 equals to 0 and then um, now we can multiply everything by a minus one, so that will be a minus uh, that will be n squared uh, minus ten n uh, minus twenty four equals to zero. Uh, we factorize, we get um, uh, two numbers to multiply them. They give you twenty four uh, minus twenty four. You add them, they give you minus uh, ten. Uh, that is minus twelve in two. So we're gonna get n minus twelve multiplied by n uh, plus two uh, equals to zero n equals to 12 or or n equals to minus 2 uh, we don't have a negative uh, position so our answer is n equals to minus 2 uh, let's move ahead 2.1.3 say uh, determine the maximum value of the quadratic sequence okay so something to realize here tn is equals to a n squared plus bn plus c and then we know that for a quadratic uh quadratic what for a quadratic function uh f of x is uh, a x squared plus b x plus c and the maximum value is given at x equals to minus b divided by 2a so we can essentially um, adopt the same idea here and say that um, the the position uh, n uh, max right uh, is given by minus b divided by 2a right uh, minus b is minus 40 because b is 40 and then a is uh, minus 4 so we're going to have 2 multiplied by uh, minus 4 which is uh, 40 uh, divided by 8 which is equals to 5 right so uh, the the value of uh, when the term that is at position 5 for this sequence is uh, t5 equals to minus 4 and then we have 5 for n uh, squared plus 40 multiplied by uh, 5 plus 36 uh, we just substituted 5 into the equation and then uh, that gives us uh, 136 so the maximum value of this sequence is uh, 136 um, 2.1.4 2.1.4 we have a sequence uh, minus 23 uh, 5 and 25 and then the question says to us um, oh, let's determine the maximum value of the sequence again uh, we're going to adopt the same idea uh, because it seems uh, quite straightforward and to always work so uh, okay so okay okay let's determine 
uh, let's do what we did to that sequence to determine uh, the maximum value of the sequence. So we're going to have uh, the differences uh, 5 minus minus 23. Uh, so that gives us um, 28. And then 25 minus 5, that is 20. And then here we get uh, minus 8. Uh, so we can see that A uh, for the first sequence uh, equals to A in uh, 2.1.1, right? And then B uh, is equals to B in 2.1.1. That because, that's because uh, the first term of the second difference and the first term of the first difference are the same, right? The only numbers uh, that will be different on the on the two on the that will be different on the two uh, sequences is uh, C, right? So now we can have A plus B plus C equals to uh, the first term of this sequence, which is minus twenty three. A we know that is uh, minus four, and we know that B is forty. Plus C equals to minus twenty three. And then that will give us a C of which is equals to, let me just put that in the calculator. So minus 23 uh, plus 4 uh, minus 40. Uh, that is giving me minus uh, 59. So for this sequence, uh, Tn equals to minus 4n squared uh, plus 40n uh, minus 59. So again, um, n max equals to minus b divided by 2a right and then b is 40 so that is minus 40 divided by uh minus 8 equals to it's cost 5 so t5 for this sequence is minus 4 5 squared uh plus 40 multiplied by 5 minus uh, 59. So let me put that in the calculator again. Minus 4 uh, multiplied by 5 squared. Um, okay, multiplied by 5 squared uh, plus 50 multiplied by 5 uh, minus 59. Uh, that is giving me uh, 41. So the maximum value for this sequence is uh, 41. Let's move ahead. Um, 2.2. Consider the sequence uh, minus 1, minus 11, 2 sine 3x, um, 15. Uh, back in high school, <laughs> as soon as I see this kind of question with sign, I really get <laughs> terrified. But let's see what it says. Uh, determine the values of x in the interval 0 to 90 degrees for which the sequence will be ar arithmetic. We know that for geometric uh, T3 divided by T2 equals to T2 divided by T1. For an arithmetic uh, T3 minus T2 equals to uh, T2 minus T1. So let's sub that uh, with what we have for this equation. T3 is 15 minus by 2 sine of 3x which equals to 2 sine 3x uh minus minus 11 so that will just be plus 11. Uh, let me group uh sign to one side so i'm gonna get uh 15 minus 1 equals to 2 sine 3x plus 2 sine 3x uh minus 11 i'm sorry so 15 minus 11 that's 4 which is equal to 4 sine 3x uh, 4 and 4 and then we get 1 equals to sine of 3x so now I can come and say um, um, 3x equals to uh, x sine of 1 of which uh, that is 90 right so we have uh, 3x equals to 90 degrees x equals to uh, 30 degrees so if uh, x is 30 degrees, then the sequence can be arithmetic.